Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this channel, we will going to focus on the one issue related to combining the file. So many a time I got a lot of question that while we are combining the file, we are getting a one issue that is a different schema than the first file in the set and will be skipped. So most of the time the people are trying to combine the multiple file into the one file and they are getting an issue and the files are not getting combined and we are getting these type of issues how we can come over this kind of error and how to identify this type of error at an initial phase. So we will focus on that. Before we move on to the topic, if you are new to my video, I will request you to please subscribe my channel. Hit a like button if you like the video and you can raise a query questions or any suggestion you can write in the comment section. We will definitely get back to you on the same. So without any further delay, let's move on to the topic. So here we have a three files, Jan, Fab and March. We want to combine these three file into the one file and let's see what issue we are getting. So without any further delay, I will go into my Alters application. What I will do is I'll drag the first file to my canvas. I want to take sheet one, I'll select over here. In order to combine the file, we need to use a wildcat character, right? So that what the wildcat character is a star, right? So we have month, Jan month. So I'll use a star as a wildcat and I'll use it before the month because the month is common, you know, in all the files, but the Jan five March will be changed as in when the new file will arrive. So that's why I use a wildcat character over here. Now I'll click on the run button. The moment I click the run button, you can see the output. The data is not combined. We can only, we see the only the Janman data over here. Ideally, it should combine all the data that we have in, you know, in that specific folder. So what's the issue? So if you see the error over here, if I click on this message part over here, I can see, uh, uh, so the sheet one has a different schema than the first file and set and will be skipped, okay? So it is uh, throwing us an uh, error and giving us the warning uh, saying that, you know, we have a different schema. The schema is nothing but a structure in the file and the data type in the file. And it is a not same for all the file. That's why uh, it cannot combine the file. So how we can resolve this issue? So first we will see how to identify this issue in which file we have a different schema, right? So this is my first file here. Okay? Uh, I can click on the output over here or I can see this table, right? Here we have a two option, data. Data means the table that we have. And if we click on the metadata over here, uh, the metadata mean it is giving an information, right? In terms of how the data, the information about the data, right? The data of data we can see like, in the technical term. So here we have the name of the columns. Here we have a data type. Here we have a size. So we have to refer the type column over here. You can see that uh, the type that we have is a date and type, uh, date and time type, you know, for the date one. So what we will do is we have a three file. So we will just drag and drop all the three files over here and we will check the data type for each file, right? I'll, I, over here. Okay, I need sheet one. So I'll do this one, right? So here, if I click, uh, you can see uh, the date is date and time, okay? Now I'll take March month file over here. Right, uh, so the date, uh, you know, the date, date type is only the date, but in these two file we have date and time, right? So I think that is, that's why it is not combining all these three file because the data type should be same for all the file. So if we see like uh, in the first file we have, everything is same. Uh, you know, only the date column has a different data type, right? So what we can do is we can uh, just make similar data type, right? For all these three files, and then we will try try it again. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll open this three file. Okay, so over here we have uh, the date, you know, the date as a data type. So I'll close this file. Here, uh, if you see, okay, so here we have a date as well as a time. So we only need a date, right? So I'll just take date over here. Okay, and I'll take this one. 
right so here i made it uh, the date as a you know the data type I'll save this file here we have only the dates right so now we have changed the date column okay in the date in the source data now if i uh, you know i'll delete this two file now okay right so here we have used the wildcard you know to combine the file so the wildcard is very important to combine the file so just remember this step okay so i'll just click the run button okay and now you can see that the file is now combined right so but we don't see the file name you know that this data is belong to which file we don't know right so we can come to configuration pane over here and here we can select the file name uh, only or if you want a full path also you can select that and if you don't want the file name you can select the no but we need uh, the file name over here just to identify uh, the data belongs to which file right so if i click on the run button see now we have this column as well uh, so now it is combining so if i want to extract this i can take this as an output i can set up a can click on setup connection here we have a different uh, file type so i'll select the xlsx over here uh, i can select this maybe i can just give two see i'll not change the sheet type but if you want to change the sheet name you can do that i'll click on okay and i'll click a run button over here okay now we can see uh, the output uh, we have master file 2 as the output see now the file is number so that's all for this video so in this video we saw that how we can identify the error and how we can resolve those issues so many a time what happen in the industry is uh, these type of issue we have identified that's why i thought i can just create a video on this topic i hope uh, you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe my channel so that i will get motivated and i will come with the more informative video on all tricks power bi python sql so please subscribe my channel